ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה בדברו. One of the Ten Commandments says, לא תחמוד, don't covet, don't envy, don't desire what somebody else has. It says exactly, you know, don't covet his wife, his house. How can you legislate about what people want, what people desire? You know, people are envious. I see that something that somebody else has, I want it for myself. You know, many people complain, why does the government not give me what the other one has? Why should he have? Why shouldn't I have? Or sometimes it's not that I want what he has. I want something else. like he has. I forget, maybe, or I don't think about the fact that he had to work for it, but I see he has. I want the same. This is what his envy is all about. But what produces that? Maybe some people say, you know, I'm not really happy with myself, because deep down I know I can never get what the other one has. Why can't I get it? Because I have low self-esteem. I don't realize that if I work harder, maybe I'll get the same thing that he has. If I concentrate more, just like he does, if I keep hours like he does, if I am very careful with my liquor or God knows what other things I'm doing, then maybe I can do much more than I'm doing actually. So when people are envious, they want what somebody else has, the answer has to be maybe, A little introspection. Why is it that I want what somebody else has? Why can't I get it just like that person has? Our rabbis say something very important. Ki nat sofrim tar You know what? When there is envy, or better yet, competition between the sages, you have more learning. You know, if I want to be as smart as somebody else is, if I want to be as knowledgeable as somebody else is, Maybe that's a good thing. I'll work harder at it. I realize that I cannot take his knowledge. You know, I can take somebody's home. But how can I take what is in his brain that I can't take? So I realize when I say kinat sofrim, that competition among the, those that are erudites, that will bring greater knowledge in the world because I realize that I must work harder on myself in order to do that. So actually, competition may be a very good thing in this world, because if there were no competition, if I wouldn't want other things, maybe there would be no development. We wouldn't grow. We would be in the same place at all times. I don't want to do anything better. So competition may be something very good. In general, I always thought, you know, that human desires, you know, our instincts, or what you want to call, Our energy, in a certain sense, is neutral. It depends what you use it for. Envy is good. It depends how you use it. If you admire somebody and you are going to make all efforts in order to reach the same place, that may be very good. If, on the other hand, envy means I want to take what he has and he will no longer have it, I will have it, I don't think that's the right thing. So, in general, I think that human faculties are really neutral. Our energy is, so to speak, neutral. It depends what is the channel in which we direct all that energy. What do we do with it? It can be a very constructive thing in this world and maybe very destructive. So when the Ten Commandments say, Lot Ahmod, don't envy somebody, it means don't try to take what he has. But on the other hand, if you admire what he has, accomplished in this world, that may be a very positive incentive so that you should also reach that place and maybe you can go even further ahead. So be very careful with your desires. You have tremendous energy. Make sure you channel it in the right direction.